Proverbs 6, 26. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and an adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Call hello, Yahweh Bashan Abishai, Bashan Wakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be light unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning. To you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, this is a video that I'm going to play from the brother uh, Bernard Harge. He's one of my subscribers. And the brother, uh, the Lord put the spirit on him to start doing videos. And um, he shared a, a, a confession that a woman made to him who asked him questions about the Bible. And, uh, and about what was going to happen to her uh, for her adulterous activity. And it's a heavy story, and I can never repeat it uh, the way he told it. All right. So without any further ado, we're just going to jump right into that that video and uh, allow the brother to tell this story. All right. And now I'm going to uh, add a couple scriptures to it and we'll go from there. All right. But uh, yeah, but this system will destroy the man in most cases, regardless of what the woman does. So in situations like you're about to hear, the woman still gets the house, the car, child support, alimony, and all that. And the man will still be demonized. All right. Or 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 left in a poor house to pay up certain amounts of uh child support, which isn't legal by the way. You know, it's called Title Four D and it's done on the, under the color of law. And they violate a tremendous amount of civil rights in order to enforce it. But that's another story. But uh but yeah, but let's uh get to it. You see, give her, you know, uh her, her space, give her, her space. And uh before I go any further, let me bring out this scripture. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, um, 24, uh, actually 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get her broad. Mm. She told me that um, <clears throat> her husband was this type of guy that he would not, um, you know, restrict her from going to hang out with her friends and stuff like that. So she used this opportunity to commit adultery. She said her husband would go and pick up the kids from school. He would bring them home. He would feed them. He would give them, uh, you know, cook for them, put them to bed. And she would just go hang out with her girlfriends. Uh, uh, that's what she told him. And um, her girlfriends were in on it. And, um, you know, they would pretend that she is with them, but she would go to men's house, you know, she would have sex with them over and over. And then um, her husband would call her and she would not answer the phone. And um, she would, uh, you know, uh, update her friends of what's going on. And her husband would call her friend looking for her. And she would, her friends would tell her, her husband that she just went to the restroom. They're hanging out at a restaurant. She just went to the restroom. And um, so her husband would be like, okay, just have her call me when she come out. And uh, her friend would call her when she's sleeping with this other man. And she would call him like, hey, honey, what's up? I was just, uh, I just went to the restroom. And she would stop right in the midst of, um, you know, fucking this other man. And just stop and call her husband. And um, she uh, <laughs> she would she would do that, and her friends would be in on it, like I said. And um, she she would be like, I'm I'm just finishing up now. I'll be home in a minute. So he will be like secure, and um, you know she will come home. She will take a shower, and sometimes go sleep with her husband right after. And why is she telling me this, brothers? 
I was like, wow, these fucking women is wicked. These women is disgustingly wicked. So uh, this is what I'm thinking. So she told me she met this white boy and um, she was head over heels in love with this white boy. But the white boy was not into her. The, boy, the white boy just saw her as this jump off, you know, just to bust her nut and uh, throw her to the side. But she wanted more from this white boy. So after a while, the white boy break up with his girlfriend and they more, you know, there was more together and uh, she fell in love with him. And, um, you know, she was thinking in her mind that she's just going to cause confusion in the house. This is how wicked these women mind frame is. She just came up with this plan. Talk it over with her friends because she's in love with this blonde hair, blue eyed white boy. And she was going to cause confusion in the house. Come home and be upset and throw shit across the room and, and not give her husband any sex. And she was going to do all these things just to break up with her husband. You know? So she can go and marry this white boy. And I'm listening to this, brothers. And I'm, I'm like, like my soul was like turning, like turning from even listening to the bitch. And um, she told me the white boy after a while link up with this white woman, and um, you know things didn't go as planned, and she didn't she didn't go through with um, you know breaking up with her husband to get to this white boy. So after a while, she said that um, a spirit come on him. Yeah, this this feeling came over her way. She just had to confess to her husband because she felt so guilty, but she was going to him. So she confessed to her husband, and her husband, you know, cried. She said he cried. He turned. The husband she told me was from Puerto Rico, and she he turned blood red and started to cry like a real passionate cry. And she she said he was crying for weeks, just crying. And you know, she said that she she her heart was so damaged, and um, you know she she. I say, I was listening to her and I was like, wow, you know, you fucking women is wicked, you know, and, um, you know, she started there talking, you know, and she told me that eventually she, he just one day didn't show up. She came home, all his clothes were gone, everything was gone, and, um, you know, he left and just went. And now he's with a different woman, a different woman. And uh, now she feel like she want her husband back. And she wanted to talk to me because I know the Bible. And, um, you know, um, she said right now she don't have the feeling to talk to, speak to no man. She don't have the feeling to have sex with no man. And um, she just wants to know what is going to happen to her. I say, um, so after she was finished, I told her, um, you're going to be put to death. You're going to be put to death and you're going to get a terrible, terrible death. So I read So, her, uh, you know what? And he's right. Um, the chances of her coming back from that are slim to none. Not saying that it's not possible, but it's slim to none. Right? And it's and it, like I said, her husband was, uh, seems that he was in a, an Ephraimite. You know, this particular, particular funny you see the one cat down there, you know, with his mouth all around the sausage and all the other sausages waiting their turn. But uh, let's go right to the scriptures. And um, this is also Proverbs 30th chapter and the 20th verse. And it reads, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth. And say, I have done no wickedness. Because they expect this after all that. All right. They expect this after all, all that and to be treated some kind of way on top of that. As if they actually deserve that. See, this Western society has really 
screwed and turned things upside down. And there's a horrible judgment that's upon America right now. So many people died. Lots of people died uh, in the fires out west. Lots of property was destroyed. Um, and then you just recently had the storm of God. All right. The storm of Yahweh that just hit the south and the east coast and destroyed a lot of property and people. A lot of people died uh, um, up in Connecticut, New York and Jersey. A lot of destruction. Plus the economies and the draconian law that's coming down because of all these uh, all these falsehoods being pushed as truth. All right. But this is a uh, Leviticus. Twenty, and I'm gonna start at verse ten. And it reads, And a man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and adulteress shall surely be put to death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall, shall, shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So adultery is a very serious thing. All right. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, and I read those because this kind of wickedness happened among the heathen and even among Israel. All right. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them surely shall be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. Because what happens if you go and lie with your, your son's wife, all right, and your son already has a child with that woman, and that now you get her pregnant. So that's going to be a lot of confusion because that, <laughs> what what's the relationship between your child and your son's child that came out of the same woman? See, that's madness. All right. So that's why this this current world uh, has to come to an end, because under Esau Edom's laws, these sort of things uh, go goes on. Let me. Uh, find this other video, it's a short one. Because it, this the Western woman, all right. After uh, all this, mind what the kitty's doing. <laughs> expect. I mean, I don't know what they expect. This is madness. But here we go. I feel like I've given so many blowjobs in past relationships. There should be rollover blowjobs in relationships, like there are rollover minutes with T-Mobile. Like I want to go up to my current boyfriend and be like, babe. I love you so much, but you have no idea how much head I gave my ex. Like, doesn't that count towards us? Now, how the fuck does that count toward him? All right? Because you got the DNA of, you know, all these uh, sausages attached to your brain stem. All right? And this is how, you know... A, a, a man could have a child with a woman and then be, and be like, that, that can't be my baby. It looks nothing like me. Not understanding that there's so much DNA from her, from her ex, that his DNA is a part of her. And it's why the child comes out looking like him and it's actually your child. That's confusion. But this is what feminism has brought you. All right. Let's grab one last scripture. Because this place has just got to go. My body, my mouth, my body, my holes, right? This is a uh, Sirach 26 and uh, start at verse 8. Right. And it reads. 
a drunken woman in a gather abroad causeth great anger and she will not cover her shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in a haughty looks and eyelids. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her straightly, lest she abuse herself through old much liberty. I can only imagine this girl with the haughty eyes, the embarrassment, the shame that is upon her father, her mother, her uncles, her family members. All right. We jump down to verse 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. And see, I keep saying, as this society uh, begins to fall, those of you who have enjoyed the carousel, see, there's going to be no 911 and no services and no one coming to help you. The day's coming where the carousel was going to ride you with extreme malice and prejudice. All right. And um, you're going to be forced to drink all the waters. Call hello, you how about Shinawa Shai about Shumba Kakwadash? Wa Ababa Ba. Shalawam Kwam Yasharala.